Abram alas para lá, madrinha! Se vocês estavam acostumados a ver Sofia Vergara como a Gloria Pritchett do Modern Family, vão se surpreender muito com a aposta mais recente da atriz. Ela estrela Griselda, nova minissérie da Netflix sobre a rainha colombiana do narcotráfico. Griselda Blanco criou um dos cartéis de droga mais lucrativos da história e se tornou uma das figuras mais temidas de Miami nos anos 70 e 80. Dizem que até Pablo Escobar tinha medo dela. Ui! A equipe do Gloss.com conversou com Sofia, com o diretor Andrés Baez e com os astros Alberto Guerra e Paulina Dávila e perguntou tudo sobre a nova minissérie que todo mundo vai maratonar. Espia só! You've thought about me a lot, haven't you? I heard that you like my product. We can make a lot of money together. Who is the one in charge? First of all, I want to congratulate you guys on the show because it's amazing. I Thank like you. watch it, all the episodes in one day. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we want. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, Sofia, you are one of the executive producers of the show, and I want to uh, just understand uh, what attracted you to this project and why was it important to you to tell Griselda's Gretel, story. Well, there were a million things that attracted me about this project. The first thing it was that she was a woman, mm -hmm. that she was a Colombian woman in a world that I never really expected that she could even exist yeah. or survive. Mm -hmm. And even less that he would get to the level that she got while she was, you know, at it. Mm -hmm. So there were many things that she was a mother, that she was, you know, someone that I felt that at the beginning had The, the, the intentions, the good intentions of, you know, doing something with her life yeah. without having to uh, be attached to a man that was abusing her. Mm -hmm. Someone that came really from nothing with very minimum uh, education. That someone that was able to become something, help her kids. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was part of what I was so interested. And then I realized that to make this, uh, this show great, mm -hmm. uh, it needed a lot of Latin American talent, yes. starting from the directors, mm -hmm. you know, writers, actors. It was going to be a dream come true for me to be able to help put this together mm -hmm. because I always feel that I'm like missing out because I'm in the United States in Hollywood working. Yeah. I don't get to play, you know, with actors in, in Colombia or in Mexico. So it was amazing for me to be able to bring these, these actors that to me are like the best right now mm -hmm. to Hollywood and maybe open doors for them the same way that Modern Family changed my life. Yeah. So it, for me, the whole thing was a gift. And I heard you spend a lot of time in the makeup chair to become Griselda. Yes. How was that process and how it helped you to get into character? It was a, a big help, of course. Uh, it was a long process. It took us not only a long time to do it in the morning, like three and something hours, but it took us, you know, all of us, Andy and, and Eric and everybody, uh, a long time to find her. We did a lot of makeup tests. I was very worried about people seeing me, Sofia, yeah. or Gloria preaching my character from Modern mm -hmm. Family. I wanted those two two characters to disappear, uh, and but I also wanted it to look real. I wanted it not people to be distracted by the nose, by the eyebrows, mm -hmm. by the wig. So it took us a long time, and then. By the end, almost when we were about to start filming, Andy and I were doing like a last test and we looked at each other and it's like, that's it. <laughs> we saw her in the mirror. And Andy, uh, you had to direct Sofia, he's, who is a comedy genius, oh, and what? in much, a much darker and sober role. So how was the collaboration between you two? Wow, that's actually the main reason mm -hmm. I chose to do this project mm -hmm. was because Sofia, is Colombian, I'm Colombian, and she was taking this amazing risk of, of uh, acting in Spanish and in a dramatic yeah. role for the first time. And I wanted to be, as a Colombian director, the, the person who would um, 
you know, take her hand metaphorically mm -hmm. and, 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 and work together with her to make this possible. Mm -hmm. And we spent a lot of time together in her house in pre-production, going through the scripts, her, you know, the character's motivations, mm -hmm. what a character wants from another um, um, character. And we gain each other's trust, which is uh, very important. Um, and through that process, through that trust, through a lot of hard work mm -hmm. um, on set and building a, a good atmosphere, um, and we started building this character. And then Sofia, with her work ethic and her talent, did an amazing job. Mm -hmm. And I heard you, you had to teach her to <laughs> pretend to do, do coke and smoke. <laughs> yeah, he well, taught me. In cinema, we use uh, always uh, fake yeah. tobacco, fake drugs, mm -hmm. uh, everything. <laughs> so we asked the prop, the art department, the props to to, br to bring us those cigarettes, that fake uh, <laughs> lactose. <laughs> lactose. God. He's always because worried because I say, he taught me how to do cocaine, <laughs> he taught me how to smoke. I have a master's then, degree in that. And then I don't clarify <laughs> that it's fake. Well, it's, 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 you know, it's, but those, those are little things that were yeah. important, mm -hmm. but the most important thing were the inner truth and, and, and the understanding of the character mm -hmm. and understanding what's on the page and yeah. what she needed from other uh, characters. That's really what makes uh, a character believable. Uh, you know, the, uh, the other stuff is external that you need mm -hmm. it, but it's, it's also important. Mm -hmm. And what's your favorite scene and what's the most difficult thing to shoot of the series? Well, the most difficult thing for me, I mean, I did a lot of things that were difficult. I had to kill people. I had to <laughs> do yeah. cocaine, smoke in every scene. I had to scream. The most difficult one was this thing that Andy wanted me to do in every episode and that he always wanted to do it at the end of the night when it was like four in the morning. Uh, and it was when Griselda is like thinking and like uh, planning her life or like with a cigarette. She, was yeah, she would do it. a yeah. cigarette thing and I was always dying. It was not as <laughs> easy as it looks. Mm -hmm. It's It was a nightmare for me, but he forced but me to do it in every <laughs> It's a character beat, but I, I really think that the most difficult was the party episode in episode yeah. five. Yes. <laughs> a, too many, a lot of extras and Sofia and Griselda in that episode is mm -hmm. going you know, emotionally, it's all over the place. So yeah. you shoot it out of order, and it's nights. We're shooting all nights. So that episode um, uh, was specifically very, very hard because yeah. it was very internal. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of internal truth in that episode, and, and and I think that was one of the hardest and one of my favorite episodes yeah, at the, at the same time. Ms. Blanco's operation has been efficient, deadly, and incredibly successful. You are two of Griselda's most loyal partners on the show, so what attracted you guys to these characters? Well, for me, it was the chance to work with Eric and Andy again, mm -hmm. the producer and the director. Mm -hmm. It was the chance to do a show this big uh, with so many things to it, you know, to be able to tell the story really, really well. And it was also a chance to work on a character that it was so complex Mm -hmm. And I hadn't done anything like that before. It's, it's, we were saying before, it's one of these characters that is, you know, we're used to seeing women mm -hmm. portraying it because, you know, they're usually the ones that are accompanying the, the people in, yeah. in the power position. Yeah. And in this case, it's a woman. Mm -hmm. um, and it was, it was really interesting to, you know, to get into the head of this mm -hmm. sicario who, decides to transform his life, but he doesn't know how mm -hmm. or where to begin, how to get away mm -hmm. from all of that. And his life totally changes when he becomes a dad. Yeah. It was right now, at the moment, for me, it was the perfect character. I was going through a lot of, you know, fatherhood stuff that I could mm -hmm. relate to that guy. Mm -hmm. It was really nice. For me, it has to do with, of course, working with Eric and Andy and Sophia. Mm -hmm. It was my first time working with them and knowing that this is a story about women as well mm -hmm. that tells a story about women trying to break through yeah. sp a space that's normally do dominated by men. It has to do with women that come from 
difficult backgrounds and they have a past together and they explore that vulnerability together in a in a moment where they have you know dreams and a possibility of a better life yeah. um, it has to do with t talking about a context that I'm related to mm -hmm. I'm from Medellin I was born there and my family my, the, my mother's side they're from Medellin for me it was about talking about that wim that that woman you know mm -hmm. like something that I was related to yeah in a way and Alberto I think the first time you see uh, a glimpse of who Dario really is is when he chooses to kill his own boss and save uh, Griselda. So how would you define uh, Griselda and Dario's relationship? It was the perfect turning point for Dario because um, he could relate with how vulnerable she was at the moment mm -hmm. when he found them. From that moment on, it was all, you know, kind of a this guy trying to find himself mm -hmm. once again in life, uh, not wanting to do, you know, yeah. the single thing that he's really good at, mm -hmm. which is killing people. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, he, he's really good at that, uh, but he doesn't want to do it anymore. And what happens with, you know, how do those guys fall in love when they do? Mm. They, I'm pretty sure they don't fall in love in the same way that we all do because yeah. they don't have a normal life. How do you live through, you know, the the feelings that we so used to live through them, you know, day to day basis without any problems? Mm -hmm. But they do. They have a whole different life. So how do they manage to do all that? Yeah. How are you a father, a, a husband? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's your favorite scene, and what what was the most difficult scene to shoot for you guys? I think my favorite scene was the one where uh, Isabel um, goes to Griselda to tell her, you know, that she can relax and that mm -hmm. she should be confident and they're on like a bed. And that was the first scene I shot. So yeah. I was very nervous. I have to confess that this was like after flying in, my first time working in the U.S. Mm -hmm. with a new team yeah. in English, mm -hmm. like not the scene, but you know, it's like a very different environment. And so it was challenging and it was fun, but I was very nervous and I really wanted that scene to show the connection between these two characters and their past. Like in a very short scene, I wanted like a lot of information, or we wanted, of course, Andy as a director, like, this is the first moment where Griselda and, and Isabel have like a conversation. So mm -hmm. we have to see that they're intimate and they're close and um, there's humor. So there was like a lot to do in that scene. And mm -hmm. I think that was like the hardest one, but also my favorite. And what's your best memory from the set from you guys? Best memory from the set? Uh, Eating. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of eating, that's for sure. That's great. Yeah. I don't know, we had a lot of fun in that set, mm -hmm. you know. It, it, there, there, was, there was something so pleasant about just, you know, feeling so at ease at home mm -hmm. with the people that you're working with um, and the way that we were, even though we were doing this huge show, you know. Mm -hmm. It almost felt small. Um, we had a really cool connection with yeah. like all like the cast. Uh, I feel like the fact that we were, you know, all Latinos mm -hmm. working in the U.S. and uh, telling this story that is originally Colombian, but like it has, it's really empowering as well. Mm -hmm. And and there was like it was like in a special context. It was we were like still in the pandemic, so we had n not much contact outside besides each other. Mm -hmm. So. There was like this. So it was a bloody mess inside the box <laughs> for us. But it was really fun. The set mm -hmm. working with Andy is, it's, it's just like so fun to do mm -hmm. and watch him work as well. Yeah. it's really inspiring. It's really nice watching this guy. You know, go through create whatever he heads is getting to. You know, mm -hmm. he the way he that that he makes you look at things from a different perspective, from a different point of view, every yeah. single time. He's going to question you. And, and that's, that creates complexity, that creates space where you, you, you have like this, you know, really 
360 characters. É, uma última coisa, onde é que tu aprendeu a falar português? Aprendi no Rio de Janeiro. Ah, tu mora lá? Não, morei lá quase um ano. Ah. Trabalhei lá com a Globo, faz uns 20 anos isso. 20, 22 anos isso. Fez alguma novela? Fui fazer uma novela, é. Ah, qual novela? Vale tudo. Ah, ok. Tô tentando ah, lembrar o nome, que não lembrava, mas vale tudo. A Globo fez em português primeiro, uhum. uh, e depois disso que eles fazem em espanhol, só que a gente gravou lá. Ah, ok. Bem legal. Ah, eu sabia. A ver, também. Que necessita? É... Aguardiente, é... arroz, é... que eles traem? Perdão, a que eles traem? Aqui eles falam português. Pois é, português. Sim, 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 sim. Bueno, nada mais, mirem a checar que esteja bem. Que tal? Bien. ¿Se están portando bien? No. ¿Tú? No. ¿Tú? Muy bien. No, lo, los entrevistadores. Ah, sí, sí. sí, sí. Bueno, si no me avisa. ¿Qué <laughs> I love it. <laughs> What just happened? Uh -huh. That was life in our set. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Every day. Very That's fun. That's great. <laughs> A Sofia é uma figura, né, gente? E vocês nem sabem o que ela guarda pra vocês com Griselda. A minissérie chega dia 25 de janeiro na Netflix e traz muitos momentos chocantes e reviravoltas. Você vai ficar colado na TV. Medina está perguntando por vós. Dizem que há uma mulher maviosa nos Estados Unidos. A madrina. After all that I have been through. I'm not gonna give it away for nothing. Quer ver que tá puto, Leo, chego! Eu nunca sei como ela está protegendo. 